What's good, YouTube, Sanitary 103, always promoting clean eating and a clean, healthy lifestyle. So what exactly is this one week challenge to help you achieve your health and fitness goals? I don't know if this is original, uh, but it's something that I just thought about and I think it'll be very, very helpful for a lot of people. Uh, let's start with a diet. So the one week challenge is to try to make one small incremental change for one week uh, whether it's diet, diet uh, or exercise, so let's start with the diet portion. So let's say you're used to drinking two sodas a day. Average Coke is like 140 calories. Uh, you end up cutting down from two to one. Are you able to do that for at least just one week? If you can do that, um, success. It's It's a small change, but you'd be surprised because... Assuming all things being equal, now I know that 100% can't be, but just as an example, if you were to just to cut down from that two sodas a day to one soda, that, 100, that 140 calories that you're not taking in and drinking water instead, when you multiply that by 365 days a year, the amount of calories comes out to like 50 plus thousand calories, blah, blah, blah. You divide it by 3,500 calories, which equals one, one true t one true pound of weight loss and all things being equal if your activity level remains the same and like i said this is just an example it's not going to be perfect but you will lose over 14 pounds of true body weight just from cutting down from that from that two soda to one soda that's an example so that's the one week challenge now this doesn't mean after you do the one week you go back to drinking two sodas you're not off the hook yet after you are able to accomplish um, that one week challenge from two sodas to one, make another small challenge for one week at a time. I'm doing it one week because when you think about, I got to do this for six months, it's a pain in the ass. Okay. It's a pain in the ass. You're going to start flipping out. You might start having anxiety, start having doubts. You start thinking of all the times you failed. Just take it one, one day at a time, one week, six, you know, seven days i think it's a little bit more realistic so you cut down from two to one sodas and then let's say with the workout portion um you walk 20 minutes a day before you were sedentary you were inactive and you did nothing you did zilch um, other than walk up to go to the fridge to get some food you didn't do any physical activity 20 minutes per day do that for one week then the next week, try something else. So for the first two weeks in that example, you've cut down from two sodas to one. And the second week, you've started to walk 20 minutes a day. See how now you're building upon this. And then the next week, you add something else. Then the next week, you add something else. Then the next week, you you you, you understand what I'm saying. If you're used to eating all that fast food, you're eating it you know, four times a week. The next week challenge is to cut it down to three times a week. Maybe you love eating those French fries. And trust me, I love eating French fries. It's one of my biggest weaknesses. Every time you go out, you want the fries. Well, maybe for that next one week challenge, you cut it down to maybe you just get a side salad instead. Or you don't get the fries, you just get the burger. Right? Make these small changes. These small changes will, won't feel like much. They will feel insignificant. But like I, like I mentioned in the example of the 14-pound weight loss from the cutting down from two sodas to one over time it's gonna make a difference do you know how a lot of you know how some people how they you know maybe it's you you wake up eight to ten years later and then you see an old photo uh, from facebook or something or an old old school photo and you're like wow i was much thinner the weight can creep up like that on you and I've, i know people that that, that that has happened and maybe it's happened to you i'm not judging i'm just saying if you if you even even if you gain just two pounds a year you're like two pounds the the human eye is not going to be able to even decipher between two pounds unless you're super anal like me but it but two pounds is not much and it isn't it's nothing to get crazy about but two pounds per year another two pounds and another two pounds do it for 10 years 20 pounds next thing you know you've gained 20 pounds in 10 years um and now let's say you're just your bmi is a little bit higher now bmi is not the most uh, bmi is just a a baseline doesn't take into account muscle that's for another discussion but in general you're just putting on weight 
and there's no really advantage of putting on excess weight. So that's my uh, video for me at this far, this far in the video. Comments, questions, always welcome. Thank you so much for all your support. If you want more health and fitness, no nonsense, nonsense advice, um, comment down, uh, subscribe. I screwed that up, and I'll uh, talk to you later. Bye.